Hey guys, and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Last time we built up, we built Squad 7, and then we trained Squad 7. So now we're going to go to the R&D facility to upgrade Squad 7's equipment. So let's do it. Welcome to R&D, man. What can I do you for? Wait, I know that insignia. You're Lieutenant Gunther, aren't you? I knew it! Man, I've heard about you! That evacuation at Brule was just... Wow! Protecting a tiny life in the middle of all that slaughter? Man! Man! Oh, Lieutenant, you're good people! You get all my respect and then some, bro. What's going on, Leon? I could hear you from clear across the hangar. Oh, Casey, check it out! It's Lieutenant Gunther! He's the man, man! <laughs> Sorry about him, Lieutenant. He's like this all the time, I'm afraid. But where are my manners? I'm Kreese Cherney. I'm training here as a mechanic. Oh, oh, and I'm Leon Schmidt. But just call me Leon, bro. I'm your boy. So, Lieutenant Gunther, what brings you down to R&D today? We do work here on weapons development, making upgraded weapons and equipment. And that includes rifles and machine guns. We can even soup up your tank. Of course, research expenses aren't cheap. With rifles and other firearms, we'll mass produce new models as they're developed. You won't have to worry about making enough for your squad. We'll outfit them. For tanks, you can upgrade the baseline performance of the body itself, or develop optional parts that you can add on to tweak out its specs. Right. You can choose which optional parts you want in the tank equipment section. Come in any time and make adjustments based on the needs of the operation at hand. Okay. So, the R&D facility basically lets you create new weapons and stuff for your tank. And also for your, you know, your infantry and units and stuff. So, um, rifles? Okay. First off, you have rifles. These are all for the scouts. Next, machine guns, that's for your shock troopers. Anti-tank lance is for your lancers. Uh, snipper rifles, that's for your snipers. Hand grenades is for everybody who actually has hand grenades. Uh, uniforms, this is for everyone, except for, um, except for lancers. Lancers get blast suits, so, yeah. And then back to rifles. So, you can upgrade all your weapons and your armor, and then you can also upgrade the Edelweiss. And from here, you can get... Okay, so right here, you can get, let's see, you can directly, all right, let me think about how to say it, because I'm trying to say it and make have it make sense. You can basically upgrade the body itself. So if I were to get this barrel protector, it would give me 200 more range. If I get the reinforced armor, it gives me more body defense. Over here, you can get treads. This is treads and other. Now, as you see, uh, it says tread HP, block size one by one. And then the same thing with radiator upgrade one by one. And over here, one by one. So, basically, what that means is you can either upgrade the, the tank itself or you can create new parts. And then you can come in here and you see how it's a four by three block. You can equip those parts that you create in that section however you have a limit to how much stuff you can put on because you know different items take up a different amount of space like one might take four blocks horizontally one might take three blocks vertical one might take like a two by two square etc etc that's kind of how it works um you can also uh well actually i think that's it so first off i'm gonna get the edelweiss i'm gonna get attack support first things first i'm getting a site upgrade because Accuracy, accuracy is absolutely vital. All set for you, bro. It's done. Thank you, Leon. And then you can go ahead and take that thing, and you can equip it. So there you go. Now I have uh, five accuracy. So yeah, um, I'm going to get the body enhancement. I'm going to get the armor. I mean, uh, the range. Okay, that's that. All set for you, bro. Now I'm actually, I'm going to hold off on that armor for right now. And I'm going to get, uh, let's see, I'm going to get rifles from my scouts. 
I'm going to see if I can just upgrade everything. It's done. This one's perfect, bro. Yeah, it is. Okay. So, I'm going to upgrade this. And don't worry, I'm not going to listen to every little thing that they say. So, there you go. I will skip stuff. It's just, I, you know, the first time they say it, I don't want to skip it because I'm sure some people want to hear them. Because, you know, it's all character development, stuff like that. Uh, snipers. Now, here's the thing. I don't... Okay, now wait. Once I get this all done. Uh, okay, grenades can't upgrade it yet. I want to get this. Hey, it looks like I can get the um, the other thing. The armor for the tank. That's good. Okay, 900. Yeesh. Oh, wait, can I? Oh, man, I got 10 bucks left. Whew. Oh, my God. Now, here's the thing. There are other things that I could get, but I'm going to get the armor. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, this other stuff, I do not recommend getting it at all. It is a complete waste of money. Especially this. The radiator upgrade. Basically, what radiator upgrades do is it makes it so that you have better critical defense. So, like, if an enemy hits your radiator, you will take less damage. I'm sure that sounds really, really useful. I'm sure it does. And it does sound useful. It's like, wow, that means that I could survive, like, a critical hit. Awesome. No. It has never worked. In all the times I've played this game, no amount of crit defense has ever saved me from dying from a critical hit. Never. I have always, always, always died in one shot to my radiator, no matter how much crit defense I had. So don't bother. Don't waste your money on it. Just stick with the body upgrades and the accuracy upgrades. Accuracy is what you want. So always get accuracy, okay? Just do it. Anyway. Well, sir, was that helpful? Hell yeah, it was. We're working here around the clock to make possible tomorrow what's out of reach today. Come again a little later. We'll do our best to have something useful for you by then. You had something useful for me now. Yeah, you better come back soon, bro. I am all fired up to work on stuff for you. Nice. See, a lot of the characters, they're just a ton of fun. They're just cool guys. And Eleanor is very intelligent. I love her as the commander. Like, the, I mean, the captain. I love Eleanor Verat. She's awesome. Oh, and hey. Here we go. About headquarters. On the Galleon Militia's base, you can use the experience points and funds you've acquired in battle to train your troops to higher levels or develop new weaponry. <gasps> Stopping by before combat or after an op, once you've acquired more resources, is a good idea. Open the menu with triangles, select horde quarters, these progress, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, instead of going to menu and selecting um, tab select, you can just hit R1, I mean um, R2. If you hit R2, you can select episode or you can select headquarters. Now, if you hit L2, it goes over to the other side, so, yeah, just keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm actually going to save it, because it's been a while. So, yeah. Uh, here we go. Oh, man, I saved it a long time ago. Okay. Don't want to die here and have to go all the way back to the prologue. That would suck. Okay. The flare gun. Welks. There you are. I've been looking for you. Hey, Ease. How'd your enlistment go? No problems? I registered as a tank pilot and mechanic. Maintaining and operating the Edelweiss will be my responsibility from now on. I think it's nice that we'll all be on the same squad together. I think so, too. So, what are you up to now? The tank's hangar space is just through here. I was just carrying some ragnite fuel back. It's used to power the tank, and also for the turret-mounted cannon rounds. I guess I'm just more used to seeing it in street lamps and medical compounds. Seems like everything is ragnite-powered these days. That stuff is everywhere. Not enough of it for some people, though. It's the source of a lot of conflict. They say the Empire's invading only to get at all the Ragnite in Galleon soil. 
Oh, that's right. I had something to give you, Welks. What's this? Father's flare gun. It was in the barn, but I thought you might have some use for it. Another hand-me-down. I gave it a once-over. It might be old, but it's still serviceable. I didn't mean... I just can't believe I'm a tank operator now. Thank you for this, Ys. I'll do a spot check on the Edelweiss now, to make sure it's ready to go at any time. All right, we'll get going for now then. See you later. Yay, we're all able to stick together. I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want Isara to go in a different squad because she's nice and yeah. Anyway, the first op. The first OP. That would be Olaf. Thank you very much. Or bro off, whatever. I have that skin. I'll cut to the chase. Here's your mission. The Great Vassal Bridge was just taken by the Empire. It's a key strategic position. The Great Vassal Bridge? It's a major drawbridge crossing the canal in Vassal, just outside the capital. That bridge is a part of the Central Transit Artery, leading into Randgrees. Our mission is to take it back. The Empire has been running a blitz, with their shock troops outrunning their defense. Our 3rd Regiment will retake the bridge before defensive reinforcements can arrive. How quaint! The militia holding a little strategy meeting of its own! And this is the dickhead. That one that I mentioned. <sighs> How long were you planning on hiding out in here, Verrat? My apologies, sir. We'll depart soon. Whatever. They're just country mice. It's not like they'll be much help. More help, perhaps, than your army unit that couldn't hold the bridge in the first place. Hey! Regardless, Vassal remains a critical position. We'll reclaim it immediately. Well, all good. See that you do. Who is that? General Damon, commander of the Central Forces. Central Forces? That's the army branch the militia was folded into, right? That's right. They say the general's an aristocrat. He looks down on the common militia. That doesn't make any sense. Right. Now that the war's begun, we all need to band together and fight to keep Gallia safe. Who cares at this point whether you're in the army or the militia? It's ridiculous. Gentlemen, let's return to the mission. We'll begin by taking back the Western Bank to gain a foothold for reclaiming the bridge. Lieutenant Gunther, I'm assigning Squad 7 to this mission. It's your first maneuver, so be smart. Yes, Captain. The other squads are on patrol. Stay sharp and be ready to help take back the bridge. I'm counting on all of you out there. Now move out. Alright. Skirmishes tab is now available. About skirmishes. Basic oh, yeah, stop. Okay. Basically what skirmishes are are it's an ability to replay battles. So, you see right there, it's that same map from the very first mission of the game, The Outskirts of Brule. Basically, this is a, a thing that you can repeat over and over and over again and get money and experience. So, if you ever get to a point in the game where you just, just hit a brick wall, you just can't handle the mission they're throwing at you, come for some skirmishes. 
like, don't forget that you can do this. Um, go to the skirmish menu and do some skirmishes. Now, the only issue with skirmishes is that enemies, I mean, um, allied units can still die. So you still need to be careful, okay? So you can't just be stupid. And they they work on the same rules if you uh, if you win the mission very quickly. Um, you know, you get a higher rank, I, and then, you know, you get more money, stuff like that. So, it's basically a mission that's just not in the story. So, yeah. Anyway, West Bank of Vassal City. Let's do it. Here are details on the current operation. <sighs> the Imperial Force is deployed in a defensive formation around a camp within Vassal's urban center. You will, you will assign your squad positions split between a city, a city team and a Riverside team. Okay. The city team will protect the base camp while the Riverside team uh, strikes the enemy. Your objective is to occupy the enemy is the yeah, the enemy's camp. Jeez. During the f defeat the enemy units defending the camp, then get to the flag hung above their camp to occupy it. So beginning your the operation, you will be responsible for assigning your soldiers to their combat positions. Before commencing the operation, choose uh, the position units command to view a list of deploy blah, 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 blah. Okay. So basically now okay, now failure, the enemy occupies Galia's base camp, all ally soldiers and reserves are killed. Welkin dies, Alicia... Now, Alicia is not a failure if she dies this time, because now she's pretty much just a scout. So, yeah, she can die, except you don't want her to. So, right here, as you can see, we have uh, position units. And right here we have three members of four, and we have Welkin, Alicia, and Rosie right here, because they're the only ones that's actually been put there. Uh, I'm going to get... Uh, Frisia, or Frisia, whatever, and let's see, right here, we, the other one that's already in position is Largo. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get, uh, Caesary. Now, a little tip here, um, snipers have very, very low AP. Now, it's very, it's a very good idea to position units with low AP at the forefront of your, um, you know, at the front of your positions. So, if I were to put a sniper uh, back here, that means I would waste a lot of AP just moving up to this position. So, instead of putting them in the back, put them in the front. I know it sounds weird, because it's, it's a defenseless unit, but you actually want to put them in the front. So, keep that in mind. So, we're in the city here, so I'm going to put um, some shock troopers in here and let's go ahead and get uh i'm gonna go ahead and put a scout in there let's get ica okay so i think we're good now so let us deploy and also just in case you get to this point and you're like uh okay uh, i think i want to back out you go to the book mode and you can save it so like book mode yeah yada yada the thing is when you enter a mission you can't leave you can't abandon the mission you have to either win or lose. That's it. Now, if you if you enter a mission and then, you know, something is wrong. It's like, oh crap, I deployed the wrong unit in the wrong place. What you can do is if you saved, you can actually just kill Welkin and then just load your game if you want to. So, yeah. Now, you can do that if you want. It's not really good to do that, but, you know you can. So anyway, now that we're about to start our first op, we're going to end it off. And next time, we're going to take back Vassal City. So see you then.